The HP Sprout is a fresh take on desktop computing thanks to its innovative design and creative approach. Hello guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com with finally my review of this, the HP Sprouts. Now this is one unique computer, so I have a lot to say, but before I get into that, let's briefly go over specs. Okay, so the HP Sprout features a ton of tech, including the HP Illuminator, which is powered by the HP DLP projector, which just happens to feature a high resolution camera with up to 14.6 megapixels. But of course, the HP Sprout features so much more, including the Intel RealSense 3D camera for capturing 2D and 3D objects. It includes a 20 inch, 20 point touch enabled touch mat with an included Jot Pro stylus, a fourth generation Intel Core i7 CPU with eight gigabytes of RAM, which is by the way, expandable to 16 gigabytes, an NVIDIA GeForce GT 745A with two gigabytes of memory, as well as a one terabyte hybrid drive. So speaking in terms of display, the HP Sprout features a 23 inch, 10 point touch enabled 1920 by 1080 LED HD display, as well as a one megapixel webcam and DTS sound. Now in terms of IO, the HP Sprout has plenty to offer including four USB ports, meaning two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0, as well as an HP 3-in-1 media card reader. And finally, it does come included with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. Okay, so specs are out of the way. Obviously they're important, but what comes down to a review in my opinion is how a product can be used in real world scenarios, such as this, me sitting in my living room and using my HP Sprout as a consumer or prosumer. So starting out the pros, I gotta say, HP has something incredibly unique on their hands. This is probably the most unique desktop computer that I've ever used. It's that unique. And actually, I consider it to be in its own category. This is primarily made possible thanks to its built-in projector and the included 20-point touch-enabled touch mat. Yes, this touch mat right down here on the surface actually allows up to 20 touch inputs. Now, I don't know why you would need 20 touch inputs at once, but still, that's impressive technology and I give HP props for actually pulling it off. All right, so this projector slash touch mat functionality, how does it work with HP Sprout? This kind of technology simply extends your desktop experience. It's excellent for scanning objects and taking pictures and it's great for scrapbookers. Now, personally, I'm not a scrapbooker, but I'm just saying scrapbooking definitely comes to mind with the HP Sprout because it makes it incredibly easy to create layouts. And thanks to its included Jot Pro stylus, the HP Sprout does allow you to easily draw or paint on your creations, which I think is pretty cool. More on that in a bit. Okay, so it's no secret by now that I am loving Windows 8 from the perspective of using it with the HP Sprout, because in my opinion, the HP Sprout allows the user to experience Windows 8 as it was meant to be. Meaning that yes, you can extend your desktop as if it's a display on the touch mat. So basically the primary display right behind me you see is just that, a 1920 by 1080 display. But the HP Sprout and Windows 8 combined, they think the touch mat is simply a secondary display. When in reality, the touch mat is just that, a touch mat and it makes Windows 8 that much more enjoyable to use. Okay, so briefly talking about the display of the HP Sprout. Well, to put simply, it does not disappoint. The 1920 by 1080 resolution looks great. Everything has a very soft touch to it, if that makes sense. And it just looks amazing for video work, photography work, because I have done a bit of Photoshop work in here and Photoshop runs great and it looks great. Okay, so what about the audio? Because audio is important to some people. Now, I will say this, the audio goes very loud, which definitely impressed me very much. But there is a weird hiss sound whenever a sound is activated. Okay, so for example, I could get a simple Gmail notification, which is quick, but for some reason HP Sprout lets out a hiss. Now, is this a deal breaker? No, but it is something I noticed right away, 
and I'm hoping that HP fixes in the future with either a software update or probably a firmware update. So let's talk about the included accessories aside from the touch mat for a moment. Let's talk about the keyboard and mouse. I am very happy to say that the included chiclet style keyboard is impressive. It took a little getting used to with the arrow keys overlapping part of the number pad, which isn't a big deal, it's just something you have to get used to. The overall feel of the keyboard was great and you guys should know me by now, I love chiclet style keyboards. And the included mouse is okay, it's nothing unique, but it does get the job done just fine. And finally, wrapping up my list of pros, guys, I gotta say this real quick. The HP Sprout, it does a lot. Like, it does a lot of work, both from a productivity standpoint and just a kind of having fun standpoint. Because the HP Sprout packs a ton of technology and a ton of features, so I'm just gonna say this. The HP Sprout, it simply comes down to what you're looking to get out of it. Whether you're scanning objects, working in Photoshop, playing games, watching Netflix, listening to music, creating layouts, exploring Windows 8, scanning documents, taking photos, playing the piano, being a DJ, drawing and coloring, and so much more. That's the thing, the HP Sprouts has infinite possibilities. So it comes down to what you're looking to get out of it, and it comes down to software support, of which I'll talk about in a bit. Which brings me to my list of cons, and I gotta say, this thing doesn't have many cons because, like I said, it's kind of a difficult product to talk about because it does so much, but here we go. The first con I gotta say, and this is easily the most important one, the HP Sprout, without a doubt in my mind, is ahead of its time. The technology, is incredible. It does a good job for the most part with scanning and all the touch mat functionality. That stuff is a lot of fun. But unfortunately, third party support in terms of software is kind of weak. And it's actually kind of weak on HP's part as well. In my opinion, the HP Sprout needs more software that shows off its unique features. I mean, as of right now, coloring is fun for kids and playing the piano is cool for about five or 10 minutes. But as of today, I have not used any apps or features on the HP Sprouts that have significantly impacted my workflow. So with that said, let me make this clear. The HP Sprouts is an incredible piece of technology, but I think it's only intended for certain markets. One, children. I mean, I can see kids having a lot of fun with the painting functionality, playing the piano, being a virtual DJ and all that good stuff. And two, it's for the creative people who don't need a lot of features in their software. A great example of this actually is myself. I need pro-like software such as Photoshop and video editing applications, which yes, you can do some light photo editing and even video editing using the touch mats, but unfortunately, it's nothing as extensive as an actual desktop application such as Final Cut Pro 10, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, or whatever you prefer to use. And of course, I fully realize Final Cut Pro 10 is not available on Windows, I get that, but I'm just throwing that out there. It's an actual video editing application compared to what you're getting on the touch mat. So my final verdict about the HP Sprout. It's a version 1.0 product. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. It's far, far from bad. Because keep in mind, this is one of the coolest products that I've gotten to review in years. And I'm incredibly grateful, so thank you HP. But, there's still a lot of work to be done. This product category has a ton of potential, so I'm looking very forward to seeing what HP has in store for the future. Because, well, this is how I look at it. It can only get better from here on out improve the 3D scanning functionality, get better software support on board, and work out the bugs, because I will say the HP Sprout is a little buggy. But guys, you know what? That's exactly why I do videos on YouTube. I love being honest with my product reviews, and I really hope HP is watching this, and I just hope they take my feedback in mind for future updates. Okay, so you're probably wondering, is the HP Sprout for you? It's kinda hard to tell, but I will say this. The HP Sprout has demo units across a variety of Best Buys and Microsoft stores. Okay, so just go to sprout.hp.com for more information on that, and perhaps you'll be lucky enough to try one for yourself. 
So guys, that is it. Thank you so much HP for making this video possible. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you guys have any more video ideas on the HP Sprout, simply comment right below. Because while well, quite frankly, I don't wanna end my coverage here. I wanna do more videos. So let me know if there's anything else you wanna see me cover. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot to me. And I'll see you in my next video.